Should I do it now? Yep. Yep. Well, now it's working. Of course, it's working now. Oh, that's ridiculous. There, there you go. Don't, <laughs> what? don't break the glass. I'm trying not to. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> I've been waiting for that. Hey, everybody! What oh was that my about? God. Right. Ah. First of all, nice. poor spouts ridiculous. Poor spouts. What, what can you say heck? about poor spouts? Um, <laughs> they should pour. Hey, they that's should what I want to say about it. <laughs> they should pour. Hey everybody, um, happy Thursday one. night. Uh, it's a little one. It is Thursday night, oh, no, and no, we are poor. here, and yeah, do we're going to be going over the Buchanan's here in a few minutes. That was what I feel we like posted. Mark's too week. angry with it. Because <laughs> I want to chop the top of that off. Tom, one of our subscribers, sent us a link on how to take those off. But I don't think it's going to be around long enough. Does it require work. power tools? <laughs> it should require power it, it, tools, right? It looked unsafe to me. They did. Um, <laughs> welcome everybody though. We've had, uh, we've had, I don't know, half a dozen or so people waiting in the chat room before the, the show got started. So I'm not going to run down. Everybody's already having a pretty good conversation aside. But gentlemen, good evening. Good evening. Thursday. Scott Thursday. Thursday, Thursday. Long week, gentlemen. Cheers oh, to everybody. Cheers. We're drinking Buchanan's uh, Special Reserve 18. So what are you drinking? That's the question. My, uh, we didn't do the picture. No, my wife didn't. has requested that we not dirty quite as many glasses this week as last week. Oh. <laughs> so if we're going to have to finish a bottle or drink something unpleasant, you're going to have to drink it out of the same glass. Well, <laughs> oh man. Well so, then, I, I, I hate so. to throw that out there. So, so the super super chat <clears throat> challenge may be abbreviated. Yeah, right. So much. <laughs> To well, what you can fit in a glass. dishes tonight, whatever. Well, yeah. I want to do a quick shout out to CDB. How you doing this evening? Um, you down with old what? I had, to, I had to do it. I told somebody that I would do a shout out to him, CDB? and so I, I, yeah, I gave you know him, I gave him the, the shout out. But uh, got guilted into. I it. got guilted into it, and I did dilly, it. So dilly. I left up. I, I lived up to my end of the bargain. Time for the monologue. <laughs> the but monologue. I am not drinking that. <laughs> no, he no, is not. What are you I am drinking? drinking Evan Williams, 1783. What is Evan Williams 1790-83? What is this? 1783. There you go. Oops, I forgot to flip the you want some? No, I don't want any of that. <laughs> it's actually <laughs> good. Is it pretty a good? A small here? batch. Out of All right. Hey, Mark, Mark, you didn't get in here. Oh, hang on a second. Hold on to that. You got it. How are you doing? A Andrew's, selfie? Andrew's trying. We're Lean in, Mark. Hey, cheese, everyone. Say cheese. Ah. <laughs> I have not what is the age you're going to really get yet? By the way, your dad's everyone on, just came back oh, from Florida. Oh, dad's on. What's up, dad? It's very good. You found hey, us. Scott, how are it's you excellent. doing? Well, it's good to see you tonight. Uh, no, this isn't the monologue. It's just a quick little thing to keep us on track before the wheels come off. Um, Project so, management agenda. Yeah, right. good. Look, quick, look at that. It's even got I like time numbers and holy. It's God. not that that tight. But anyway, ten forty five. Can't turn in there somewhere. So, no, I mean, <laughs> we'll, we'll see what's on the agenda tonight. We're going to talk about this for a little while. Uh, we'll bring up our typical <coughs> scotch in the news. Got a couple things that we found that's interesting. Got some announcements on what's coming up. Um, some pretty cool exciting news. Yep, some exciting news on that front and. Uh, and, and some whiskey to drink. And, and some whiskey to drink. Whiskey and to then drink. we'll let the wheels come off and see what's going on in your ass. That never happens. <laughs> yeah, right. we got 30 minutes until um, the wheels come off. So. I see Rob is on. Telex, thanks for showing up and, and Santa. Uh, taking hey, care of stuff on the technical side in the back end for us. Um, lots of folks are already yeah. on. Good stuff. Nice, um, nice. So anyway, let's dive into this before so we can move on uh, to... Yeah. to to other things we got a lot of comments which we need to pull up just to read through sure. some of them while we're, we're talking to everybody about the Buchanan's um, what did you guys think of it I mean obviously I saw the, I did the review with you and but here we are drinking it again it's been you know a couple days or a week since we last had it what do you think all right first things first if I never ever buy another bottle with the damn core thing on it again I'm cool with that <laughs> I've, I have worked in bars for a really long time. I have absolutely no ball. idea what point that serves. It really is stupid. Other than is ruining it? me pouring a glass of whatever yep. I'm pouring. It's frustrating it drives me nuts. what it is. Um, and, and it sucks because I like <clears> the bottle. <laughs> yeah. But uh, other than that, I mean, you know, it's a, obviously an entry level. Entry level? Entry level? level. It's 18. I don't care. It's, it tastes like an entry no, level. No. So, so it's, a, it's, a, it's a really nice blend. Does it control the amount of a pour? I don't think so. By it, not yeah. giving you any? It, it, redu <laughs> it reduces the rate of pouring. It's a horse crash. Because we can hit it upside down and it barely comes up. Because isn't that what restaurants and bars use? Is no. They don't no, use it's those kinds of things. Not, it not like this. They have, a, they have a, some sort of... It's to make it come out at a steady rate. So you can count and get yep. an accurate pour, in theory. 
Indeed. That, you have to keep testing the bartenders over and over again to make sure that they're actually pouring an ounce right on. It's not. Because they don't know how to count quite right all the time. <laughs> I mean, it, well, everybody I, counts at a different rate, and it is what it is, so... All so, right. uh, some so people's anyway, tens or some people's Rob tens. said to tell you, I think it's to use as, um, yes. uh, Mike, I won a GTS in a local liquor store lottery. Oh, man. I've seen a few things that you've picked up that I was yeah, pretty impressed about. Yeah, Rob liquor. is like, yeah. every time I look at Rob, he's, getting, he's, he's getting talking more. about something about, he just picked yeah. this up, picked this up. I'm like, dude is getting some good stuff. Yeah, it's not yeah. like he's getting he a bunch of He needs to move the Indianapolis is what I'm trying to say. Uh, I'm going to go visit. You'll have to, no, then, you'll you have to, to tell me how that <laughs> GTS is then. We can do that. So. We can do that. There's cool. another, uh, another the request for you to get the lightsaber out. What? Wait that. You know, I think this is... I'm torn on the Buchanan's. I'm, I'm torn because of the price point. I'm what was it again? Eighty five dollars. Eighty five dollars, and, and <coughs> I, I don't know. So I wasn't that impressed with it. Eighty five dollars. I don't better, know if I'm that impressed with it. The yeah. spot really kind of pissed mm. me off. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's smooth. There's nothing off putting about it or anything. But the, it's smooth. But the spot kind of meaty. isn't the juice. No. Don't look at the. Don't, don't. It's, the, it's two separate things. But somebody is. at the company thought that was a good idea, which. That's its own separate thing. It's like bad marketing. Well, they should get right. I want a handicapped whiskey. No, 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 no. Just no, I don't want you to drink so much of it. Just easy. Easy. <laughs> if I'm paying that much for a bottle, I'm going to drink The thing is, it's smooth. That's nice. I'm, uh, smooth makes it easier to drink. But I'm not drinking something just because it's smooth. There was a comment. Well, and so, so it's more, to well. me, it's more than smooth. So there, it's kind of meaty. It's got this kind of full body to it. It's got good mouthfeel. It's, it's almost a rich flavor to me. It's not, you know, my wheelhouse by any means. Wheelhouse. Um, uh, wheelhouse. wheelhouse. But, That's a good but it, sign. it does have, it, it does have just this, this basic um, body to it that I that I like in a scotch. And, and, and somebody had said in the comments that yeah, it's uh, it's owned by the same company that owns uh, Walker, right? So mm. you, it's going to have some of the same. <laughs> Diageo. Same, Diageo owns it, I so you should see the same grain whiskeys in it. Is what they were saying. Probably. Um, and maybe that's true. I don't know. I wasn't sure about that. I know Hoagie had made a comment about it. Uh, I don't even see him on, but huh? he had made a comment that mm -hmm. um, he thinks that Buchanan's is a little bit higher quality than Johnny Walker's. What he said, and I, I don't know about that. I guess it depends on what level. I, of Johnny I would Walker tend to. I don't taste longer. the grain in this like I do in a lot of the Johnny Walkers. I mean, I wouldn't. Be so that I mean, no, maybe surprised. it's just, it's blending. Um, I saw hey, one of the. Uh, I don't. Yeah. Uh, somebody had a question. Oh, Everwin, uh, Shiva's eighteen is about the same, and we haven't tried Shiva's eighteen. Yeah. I don't know. I don't the know. Twelve is I not think the bad. Shivas, Shivas Twelve is pretty stinking good. It's not for, bad for its price, price right? So and, it. and its entry point on the market, where you know what it's competing against, right? Yeah. Whereas this is a little bit. I mean, you're in the eighty dollar range. Eighty five. No, you can get some good scotch for eighty dollars, right? I and mean, there's no question. I mean, it's so it's eighteen year old scotch, but it's to me, you know, it's yeah, not off putting, but not remarkable either. Correct. How about that? So what do we give it? Two, 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 five? two, two five. Yeah. So, so there was a comment sense. that was interesting. I was just telling Sean about it. I wasn't sure. Um, I don't know if I had the comment up or not. Still, but um, that this was made for the Latin, the Latin market. market. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. Hmm. I, I saw that comment too, and I'm not quite sure where, where that comes from or, or <clears throat> why why that's said. I'd like to know. You know, give me a reason why you think it's made yeah. for the Latin market. Uh, I would like well, to know it, more. I mean, it could be that they're pushing it in more Latin oriented. Southern America. Yeah. Central but what about America. it would make, I mean, I don't know. Does it design? I don't no, know. No, I mean, there's obviously a flavor profile that they've got for that. Look at the stuff he brought from Korea. That's true. The I Scotch mean, Scotch Blue. Blue. Scotch Blue is supposed Specifically to be formulated for the Korean market. Right. Scotch in name only. <laughs> <laughs> Legally, legally, it is scotch, but it did not taste. No, it did not. They aged that stuff in stainless steel barrels, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I'll give you so, heartburn. I don't know. I mean, I'm glad we had a, a review of it. Sure. Eighty-five dollars. You know, if I were in a bar somewhere and it was uh, available, it would. I would consider it as one of my options. Sure. I wouldn't be like, oh, yeah. I'm not going to buy that. But um, yeah, I would drink this over at Glen Levitt. Like an like entry 12? level, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Or something like price, that. You know? Yeah, like, like I said, there's nothing, there's nothing bad I mean, about it. It's kind of sad. We're, we're but talking, for eighty five, comparing Glenn Levitt to an eighteen but, year old. But for eighty five dollars, see right here. Tri you know what I mean? Cap. I don't know if I'm going to run out and buy a bottle. No, triple Cap it. says uh, aged blended scotches are huge in Brazil. Hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's what you've got right here. An 18 I love year old having blended. Our, yeah. It's like but the it's, out there and tell us. Well, some it's, stuff. I mean, it's a, it's a awesome. cultural thing. You know, it's, it's whatever yeah. flavor profile they enjoy. So, yeah, so if right. that's what they're looking for, mm-hmm. that's what they're doing. Yeah. I mean, so. that's one of the things. If you, if you look to Scotch marketing, <coughs> historical Scotch marketing, um, originally the Scotch marketers came out with um, age statements, and that was readily embraced by us by the us sure and so the us market was big into age statements now they're moving away from it and it's hard to pull yeah. that us market it back sure away is. from those age statements because that was such the big thing whereas europe and other other uh, nationalities tend to be a little more lenient on age, age statements so well i think there's going to be a lot of craziness coming out between now and the next five years of just how they're going to switch up marketing on whiskey in general i think especially for scotch right they're, they're gonna yeah i think there's gonna be some surprises out there but they're already kind of doing it now with just some crazy flavors right in the different ways i mean that we talked about that a couple of weeks ago with uh who was it viaggio and the tequila last week yeah that's still yeah. that's yeah. still in the news so right that's now still out there talking about that but that's what they're they're like okay what can we do what's different and then how do we go to market right and that's the whole thing too is not magazines anymore it's not mm-hmm. newspapers and and, and, and blogs well, I, or whatnot, I would like but, to think it's us but yeah but nice. you know <laughs> you know you bring that uh, that that specific topic up uh i was talking to an ambassador this week i, I uh, trying to line some stuff up for us, and we talked about that topic, you know, what Diage was doing with these tequila barrels and stuff, and he kind of chuckled and he said, you know, it's not the first time, because I made a comment about Diage being big. I'm like, man, they're Huge. they're big. They they might be big Huge. enough to push the SWA around a little bit, right? And he he chuckled and he said, you know, Diage has been pushing a stick at them for years, and yeah. they're just flaring up right now and seeing what they can get away with. He's sure. like. He goes, they're huge, but so is the Scotch whiskey. So, you know, that that industry is strong. And so it'll, it'll be interesting to see Oh, and they're protecting out. their market share. Right. You know hey, Tom. Mean? Hey, Tom. How are you, buddy? Tom. Um, uh, uh, yeah, Slaunch, Tom. Cheers, sir. Oh, cheers, brother. Um, hmm. But to finish things up on the Buchanan. I this you know, that it would be. What is that? We haven't yeah. reviewed it yet, so I'm not going to say. Oh. So to finish things up on, on the Buchanan's, I, I mean. Oh, it was a two-two-five yeah. for us. We're we didn't. Maybe it was just we got a lot night. of comments from it's everybody out there about yeah. the poor spout or yeah. where it's you know popular. But nobody yeah. nobody commented as if as <clears throat> having had tried it. So have you guys not? Is anybody out there not <coughs> sampled this or, or even uh, had a glass of it? Because we didn't get many many comments on, it's on really that. Really cool bottle. I'm, 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 I'm tasting bottle. this one. Yeah, on yeah. tasting notes. I don't think no. we're big in Brazil. A lot of people commented about that. Hey, thanks for letting us know. I didn't know about it. I, I've never heard of it. I mean, I, that's not fair. I don't. I haven't heard a lot of. Well, Scottish it's a special thing. reserve, so but not, there's not a lot out there. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, ah, so, <laughs> that marketing yeah. is working yes. really yes. well. It's, it's <laughs> special reserve. But I mean, so. when you uh, pulled reserve. the trigger on this, you, you, you did this right. Yeah. yeah. You guys went through a bunch of stuff, and this just kind of popped out, right? Well, it was kind of you know, it was eighteen year old scotch for eighty bucks. Yeah. So. Yeah. Huh, right. So Scott said he's never had it, and Christopher Mallow asked, "Why not use the tequila casks?" Um, yeah, that I don't know why Scotch is because it's tequila? well, it's not, no, it, it, the the Scotch uh, Whiskey Association doesn't approve them. Right, that tequila barrels aren't. I don't think it's about they, it's about historical things they want to keep and preserve and stuff. And it's like right. there are some things that they've done already, right? You're, you well, know, all the Rosso casks, all these different ones. I was going to say it fits the mold of what they've already determined. What, what I was thinking was when I was <laughs> listening to all the arguments against it. And I'm not for it by any stretch. I think it would be horrible. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, I don't think anything don't about that's a good, good idea. I can think of a lot of other kinds of casks that would put scotch in long before tequila barrels. Right. But that being said, you know, lots of stuff breaks tradition before it becomes a sure. traditional sure. thing. You know what I mean? Like you're you never going to learn new stuff or, or, or discover new things if you don't take a shot in the dark. And they're big enough to take a shot in the dark with a couple and of casks and, they have the and throw it in a warehouse and just see. Right. What well, I mean, you're, right. you're seeing so. I, IPA cask. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, well, why we, is that? We legal? have it back here. Yeah, we, we did. did. The um, Glenfiddich IPA. Yeah, yeah. 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 Glenfiddich IPA cask. And then, and then, and then so why is that and, legal? Why can you put it in a beer cask, but you can't put it in a tequila cask? Well, I think because they wanted to age it more, and the specifics of, of how they age it is is still the same for those guys. It's just they're blending it afterwards, right, in the different barrels. Oh, they finish it. They're finishing it. Finishing it. it, 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 it right, whereas they're talking about 
putting it straight into tequila uh, barrel and yeah. aging it that way. And that's what they're right changing. They're like, no, it needs to be in X whiskey barrels for this long, etc. I think what's going to happen now is, if you look at the future, I think they're going to have some cool ways of, you know, what well, who who was it? Was it Glenmorangie that did the ones in um, Missouri? The yeah, the right, star. Or, the star, right? I think that's a. We're gonna see more of that kind of stuff coming out. Unique like woods, unique and, woods, yeah. and things like that. I, I know that you're exactly right about that. Yeah. yeah. One of the announcements we're gonna make in a little while is about that. Jason Voorhees, uh, more specific. I'm not. I'm not tracking on Red Seal. I'm wanting to know if we're gonna try Red Seal. Give me a little more info on that. Um, so anyway, wrapping up. But we we kind of stretched into Scotch in the news a little bit. Yep. We had talked about that tequila stuff last week. So let's go ahead and. There were a couple of other stories that pulled up this week that I, I That's thought what were I thought extremely too, they totally interesting. called it out, which um, I don't understand. Yeah. Which, you know what, before we do that, Tom, you'd said this bottle's not available around you. It's not available around here either. We got this one online. Oh, I, I, I did yeah, find it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, really? But this particular one, did you did purchase it yeah, online, right? So, yeah. um, so anyway, the, the stories, a couple stories that I found on, online, um, uh, well, you found a couple too. I guess the the first yeah. one that comes to mind is the Chinese announcement, right? So, I guess um, just today or yesterday it was uh, the SWA signed another trade agreement or copyright agreement with China um, for uh, Scotch. So, Scotch is defined in China and it's the same definition as it is in Scotland. Yeah. Um, they had done an original agreement in 2008 that was 10 years, and they just renewed it. Uh, now, so it's going to be good for 2020. So you you won't be able to distill spirits in China right and now, call it scotch. Right. Yeah. Um, and that, that's a big deal because I, I, yeah. intellectual right. property in China is is dubious at best. So the fact that they uh, approve that now the question is will they enforce yep. it? Whole other question. Yeah, I mean I don't. That's hard to say. But the, just the fact that they've done it formally and announced it and it's that's official. A, that's a, good that's a pretty Are they good making step. them make the scotch in China and show them how to do it? <laughs> I'm try that I don't know. Are going to take over the stories oh. after 10 years? <laughs> Are we trying that tonight? I, I don't know what oh. we're doing tonight. Um, don't tell Mark. So, he doesn't, Mark doesn't get any. There's a, there were the, another story that I picked up, and, it, and this was just put on, online today. It, were, uh, it was six incredible Guinness records featuring Scotch whiskey, right? So you see records and Guinness Scotch. World records. Guinness World Records. What? And, and Most scotch right. drunk in a night. And I'm like, all right, what are these six records, Guinness records that have to do with scotch? So largest bottle of whiskey um, is a bottle of famous grouse. Okay, big deal, whatever. I, I didn't even see how big How big's the bottle? 228 liters. <laughs> <laughs> Holy That makes sense, then. It's a pretty big bottle That's of scotch. a barrel. <laughs> um, that's what's a, a smallest bottle of whiskey, Cumbrae Supply Company. I don't know. I've never even heard of that. Um, 1.3 milliliters. Uh, oldest bottle of whiskey, Glen, Glenavon Special Liquor Whiskey. And what's crazy is this bottle was, it was distilled between 1851 and 1858. And it's a 400 milliliter uh, bottle of whiskey. Hmm. Um, Where are those little interesting what, what that would taste like. But, um, um, most expensive bottle of whiskey was the McKellen M. Decanter Constantine. Mm -hmm. That sold for six hundred and twenty-eight thousand dollars for the bottle. Dude, that's crazy. Um, bar with the most whiskeys available. I think we talked about this one not too long. It was yeah. pretty popular. Some hotel. Um, but interestingly enough, there's another place like right up the street from it that has like three times as many, but they had never gone and tried to get a uh, a, a record because they thought that it cost money. Like you had to pay for the people to come out and certify, right. and they never cared. And then they found out that it was free, so they're trying to. So they're going to smash them, right? Yeah, yeah like and it was. Watch. They were significantly higher. Oldest <laughs> whiskey, a Mortlock seventy-year-old, which is and seventy. Seventy, which I kind of find this hard to believe, and I'll say that this is a Guinness World Record. It's the oldest whiskey, a Mortlock seventy-year-old, right? And I'm like, okay. I believe that, except I just read another article that I was going to talk about, about Gordon and McPhail. Gordon and McPhail's got their hands on a 75-year-old Mortlock. But, but is it bottled? If it's still in the barrel... Ah, that, that may be it. I mean, that's, I, that's true. Probably, it's, it's still, still subject to change, and it's right. not... They're okay. still on the tee. They haven't been hit. Yeah, they right. haven't teed off. Right. Right. Man! <laughs> You're a genius. Oh, so They're many, back on the pro teams, though. <laughs> uh -huh. How many do we have online? We yeah. got tons of people online. So, but really, if you had a whiskey that was 75 years old sitting in a barrel, how long are you going to let it sit there? 
Well, and the crazy thing you know is, I mean? is that, that one of them, they, because there were a couple bottles they talked about in this article about oh my going with Phil. Wheelhouse. Sorry. Wheelhouse. Hi. I want to finish this one because it's not good and I want to drink so something. Thanks, everybody, for joining us tonight. Good chat going on. Appreciate Heck it. Heck, yeah. yeah so hey, I'm, Baltimore, I'm, man, watching, I'm watching the, uh, the chat online. Yeah, Great South discussion Africa going on. Talking about um, yeah, you know, we'll the double it. single. That was early. We're talking about uh, just, oh, there's something about Mark. Oh no! Needing to shut up. Oh no! Tom R asked if Mark would be if if he should try the Appleton Twenty One. That's a rum, isn't it? Isn't that a rum? Yeah, probably. That's probably outstanding. Rum. Is that what you're Appleton, drinking tonight? Appleton is a great. Rum. Tom, distillery. I had a twenty-one year old rum Where's at work the other day. It was Tom R asked, asked, yeah. Yeah, asked, asked Mark why I should pour some Appleton Twenty One. Absolutely. <laughs> He I said heard. he might be dr drinking a rum tonight. <laughs> good for him, man. I, I, I like good eggs rum. I've, it's good stuff. Inform like us. Rum. So my father-in-law occasionally will bring rum back from Puerto Rico if he goes diving or whatever. And Appleton Estates. It's, it's good? Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's nice. Good sipping. Mm, yeah. Throw a rock on it. Good stuff. Mm. I've seen it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to catch up with the comments here real quick. So I, I was talking a lot, and I'm going to oh, come yeah. back and see what's going on here. Yeah, that's all good. You want us to talk for you for a little yeah, bit? Yeah, you got it, brother. I'm handing Mike so over. So I think we're going to <laughs> do a Telex Scott a favor. Says, Telex, do you have some of this left over? Awesome. Yeah, look at this. Because oh, I yeah. think we're going to finally... We've had well, this... I'm not ready yet. We're not going to open it yet. Why not? We're going to let it air out, don't we? I'm ready for my fourth glass. What are you doing? You guys are just... It's going to come off quick. We're Number of scotches uh, tried by the scotch or Mark. We, we're <laughs> going to try and review this, but Let's you know talk. we have not had a chance because we have been swamped with work and what work is that? Family. It's Kelpie. Oh. Kelpie committee release. So I think we're going to you know we're yeah. going to save this, this for a nothing. review. But tell us you've been asking and screw it, we're going to deal with you tonight. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to drink it. <laughs> we're going to pour it. We'll, if we like it, we're going to buy another bottle and we'll do it. <laughs> can you can you buy a bottle? Is it gone? I don't now? know. Hey, is Kelpie gone? <laughs> it might be. Well, Teller has some. <laughs> yeah, he does. Of course he does. <laughs> That's horrible. Do you need that? I don't think so. Um, There's a man. Oh. So this good is Kelpie. Good Lord, that smells good. This is Kelpie can get you really good. So I'm assuming, I don't know, we, we because he, Mark, or Drew just brought it up. I'll, let me do some oh, research. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So someone just, po Scott just pointed out, drink the Zima. Why don't you talk about <laughs> it? Yeah, why don't you Let's talk, talk about, about this, props. Mike. What's going so, on with Scott, this? So, Scott, this is for you. I'll this, drink this it. This is a like special this was, for These Scott. two were put on the here Scotch for test the dummies. test dummies. I'm glad you noticed, Scott. Go on. I um, had a very busy day at work today, I guess you could say. <laughs> or not. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I happen to watch some videos a little bit as I'm doing my work. And so um, <laughs> I happen to watch their 200th episode. Cheers on 200, yeah. right? Oh, good for yeah. those guys. I don't We're know like, what you're... What are you at yet? Something. What are you now? We're like 400. 400? So that was a while ago. You guys are crushing it. Yeah. But uh, just because it was Booker's Rye, I was like, eh, hey. Okay. I've been seeing some of that, some <clears throat> interest in that, but there's no way I'm going to get a bottle because they even reviewed it. It's two ninety nine a bottle. Is that right, Scott? I think you said. I have no idea. Look at me. Um, so, yeah, it's not like I'm ever going to get a bottle of it, but... Uh, but uh, your partner in crime, Bart, Bart was <laughs> making comment of you guys had a discussion going pretty intense, and he said some comments of, "Well, you might as well just uh, review Azima or then some of that Mike's hard lemonade or something <laughs> like that." So, and right when he said that, I was like, "Oh my God, I have some Zima in my garage in my." Because who doesn't have Zima in there? So, yeah. so do we want to yes. review these now, I, two in our no, part? But I don't. But I don't have any Jolly Are you Ranchers. A Seventeen-year-old girl from the nineties. <laughs> <laughs> I might be with a beard. With a beard. I didn't say you were an attractive girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I don't know if I. I, I recall correctly. I I think the last hour of the twelve-hour boom thing. That's what Scott's saying. Did. Oh, did they? Yeah, he oh said they gosh. drink it. Yeah, because I remember them popping them open and drinking Zima. So they drink Booker's Zima. Right, yeah. And he's just saying he did. I guess. Yeah. So yes, yeah, Scott. You yeah. Yeah. Was like, hey, this was I put up here this in his honor. Is it cold? Hell yeah. Oh yeah. I it's right ready to drink, brother. Pop it open. Drinking it. Pop it. You need a. I'm gonna have this first. 
Yeah. I'm pouring this baby. I bet they go well together, man. You could probably just pour that this one goes Pour it in there, mix it up. And rinse that out. You don't want you don't Although this is Mike's harder lemonade. Oh, it's not just hard, it's harder. It's harder. All right. I'm gonna make a little more So let me let me draw you in here. This is the committee release of Ardbeg Kelpie. A single malt released in 2017, having been matured in casks made from virgin black sea oak and more traditional bourbon casks. The committee release is bottled at the higher strength of 51.7% ABV, nice. while a standard Kelpie is bottled at 46%. What? 51.7. So we owe all of this to Telex, the Whiskey Tech. You the whiskey wanna, tech. And you're give the man. us a splash. And give, you want a you little sip? We owe it all to only that yeah, guy right there. That's the guy. The man. What are you doing? Wait, what? what did I just learn? <laughs> <laughs> what did we talk about? Someone's doing dishes at the end of the show. <laughs> I got a dishes with that. Yeah, right on, buddy. You I'm going to keep you from yeah. away from, yeah. from the glass rack. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> What's up with that? What happened? Well, that's for if we need a splash, if we have too much water. Who's adding water? A splash of, <laughs> since I, I get a splash bit. of more. He's trying to get more. He won't give me more. All right, look at this guy. All right, um, <laughs> that one's for later. <laughs> that's for that's for my wheelhouse later. When the patrons lose. Because you know, is that what's up? You know, the only reason Telex sent that to us is because he knows I would like it. So I'm just saying, I can take it home. Oh, that seaweed, that that. All right, let's talk about let's talk about this boy. This, All right, is it sandalwood? Tastes like heaven. Why aren't you drinking? It smells like the peach. I can't get past the <laughs> I nose. I smell the peach in this thing. That's man. what I'm saying. Like a peach like fire. A peach, a peach, fire. peach seaweed. Yeah. Um, you get you get a that starfish. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know guy, if I've ever smelled a starfish. He's not gonna like this. It's too much peach. You're not gonna like smoke. this. You just give it to me. <laughs> he's like, I the smell a, a humble squid. Yeah. <laughs> a squid. <laughs> a conch. A, a squid that has been pickled. Only half a conch. In over dilled but under garlic pickle juice. Neptune's armpits. <laughs> ah, yeah. Right. I mean, it does. It does smell. All right. Smell. So there's uh, definitely some brininess. Okay. There's some. There's some smoke. Obviously, the the beachfront. I'm the even watching the comments. This guy. Sandy. Be... If awesome had a flavor, this would be awesome. <laughs> it's, Man, it's got a great. You know what that's nice is? It's fifty-one point something, right? I don't smell any of that on on this at all. Usually, yeah, like, there's no, it's, well, again, Pete. It's, it's Pete a tiny bit off. hot on the Palette. on the first sip, but by the second sip, you don't even Man. care. As it brings um, to my nose, I smell that fish. The second sip is super well balanced. Mm. Mm. I mean, the first taste was really good, but the second sip is just everything is well balanced. It's wow. pretty damn smooth. It, it's got it's got some charcoal notes. Oh, I gotta be honest. Oh my lord! Maybe it's and just because I take a, a sip after quality this. quality to it. That's what I was gonna say. So yeah. so JCC is a glass of su sushi. No, because you do get a little bit of that seaweed on the nose, but then as it as it rolls back, that that smoke brings up. Oh, yeah, man. it's briny. It's it's yeah. really it briny. Really right. briny. Wow, that's it's salty, man. So that it reminds me. only on the first of sushi sip. that that crab. Just a crab sushi you can get. It, it kind of has a little essence of that, that like kind of crab taste. In the crab back. with a K. Crab with a K, yeah. Um, but it's 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 so it's delicious, man. You get a little burnt charring, like you know, like some burnt chicken. That flavor, mm, it's delicious. Oh, mm -hmm. Rob's got a cut. Kind of feels like burnt toast a little bit. A little burnt toast. Burnt, burnt toast. Burnt toast. Burnt toast. Huh? But it, you, you can buy just, the shirt. It's online. Go to our website. It's super well balanced. Everything about it. Is I cannot awesome. believe this is fifty-one percent. Hey, Mark, I, 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 I noticed get, you're on. No alcohol anywhere. I, I wouldn't expect wow. to really. That's super. I mean, salty. just because you get anytime you get that briny, peaty stuff going on with the high alcohol, you really don't notice the alcohol at all. Yeah. Which is why this stuff is dangerous. German pretzel stuff going on. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You, don't, you don't. You don't need to to keep drinking it. It just kind of so, holds. Oh, man. You would think it's, it's kind of peaty, but it's, it's more smoky to me than a peat. Earthy, you know? It is earthy. You know, that... I that, think more smoke. You know, it's almost... It sm smells like burnt driftwood. I mean, that, yeah. that kind of... Like like a, a beach fire. The you, first you, sip you get had the, a carbony the, quality, but now I don't get that at all. No. It's just... Wow. Mm. It's just tasty goodness. All right, Mike. How are you feeling about this? That's pretty... Cause that's you're like, not, you're that's like not the radar you're not for you, yeah. But dark stuff. fudge. This one's this one's big. Telex is dark fudge. I can mm. get that. So the initial nose, I really got too. that beechwood 
you know, a, a, you know that driftwood yeah, fire. I can you see know, that. it's just yeah. got a, a different smell to it, um, and that's already starting to waff off. It's already starting to yeah. air off a little bit. Yeah. But I, I, it's still really bright. This is a meaty. On this is something you're gonna pour, um, and you're gonna just let it sit here. You, for a while. That's gonna change. You don't have to sip this it. hard. Mm -hmm. It's so got we'll, a lot going on. I know it's not really a review, but if you guys want to throw a number at it at all. Hotel. Not it's, yet. It'd be a minute. You're pushing it. I mean, so uh, you know, I, I can't. There's nothing. There's, there's <laughs> three, nothing. Five or oh, four. Wow. There's I'm not pick right can, now. He's wow. gonna say four. There's nothing I can pull away from this. What? What would be bad about this? What? Why wouldn't I give it a four? Put some water on. I know what he's not gonna say. It's not my wheelhouse. <laughs> wheelhouse. <laughs> anytime that. Anytime he drinks a scotch that's the not line. Pete. He. The first thing he says yeah, is, "Well, it's not my I'm wheelhouse." I'm gonna put just a little water on just because I want to see how it holds. Right. I want to see if it opens I, I guarantee up it holds it just Oh, yeah. I just want to hey, see if it opens up. Scott right. says, it's okay, Mike. You can say you don't like it. No, I'm the permission's I'm not there. even going to say that. I'm if you don't like it, that. give it back. <laughs> <laughs> you don't deserve it. I'm trying to put together what I'm smelling, what you guys are saying. Caramel. Too. Right. And yeah, even if it's not your favorite It smells profile. sweet to me. Yeah. Why? And But yeah. you guys are sitting here I just saying like caramel. So, I mean, yeah. yeah. Like you, like burnt wood and blah blah blah. Well, see, I don't get that anymore like, on the nose. Yeah, that, that that nose I'm is like, all this gone. Is, that nose this is gone. smell like a sugar, like brown sugar. It has that. That the, the whole burnt is is already aired yeah, off. Man. I don't get that at all anymore. Mm. I can and smell the, a little bit of your sweetness the, by deep. Hey George, it down. when you add the water the, to it, it really sweetens it up. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that in a second. I'll probably yeah. I'll probably need to do that, but then. Like it was completely different than the smell, Ooh, the taste helps. was. Ooh, that I picked up. It kind of lets everything. I'm gonna let it sit for a minute. Oh, I want wow. it to. I agree, kind of but it's it actually. Ooh, wow. The alcohol you know, so it's, it's funny. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if my dad's still on it like that. <laughs> I, I, I think he just I, needs to sit for. I minute. introduced my dad to Ooh, scotch on that thing, over Christmas, good. and took a couple yeah. bottles down. Took some uh, Monkey Shoulder. Took some okay, Tullibardine Two Twenty Eight, Johnny Black, and. Um, Lagavulin 16, which are all great scotches in their own right. But when we, um, so we tasted the, the sherries the first night, and the second night we went to the, the, the smokier ones, and we hit, when we hit that uh, Lagavulin 16, he was like, oh my gosh, this has way more to it. And this, so, Dad, if you're on, this <laughs> is like that whole nother level above Lagavulin 16. It's just got that, we just got to do it. it. You yeah. think so? We'll do one in I think it does. We'll do that. I can't get past the saltiness of it. I'm not saying I don't like it. I love it. It's delicious, but it's probably the most saltiest scotch I've ever had. I, some water. I, do, I just did. I, I taste the salt. salt. Um, so Jake Ruby asked about maybe a cigar pairing. Ask if anybody. We were just about talking about that. If we're we already in, planned it. We're going to do a video. Uh, well, he wants to know if we're cigar guys. I don't know. We are, you you we guys are, got any well, cigars? I don't have any, but you got like a thousand. Do you, do you have some cigars? I might have a couple. I just had to. to I, have, I have a few. But we I have been mine. known to drink scotch and cigars. The, the only reason I have cigars is because you have cigars. <laughs> yeah. Usually, but the, I'll tell you what, we went to New Orleans the trip. That Those cigars down there, I wear the hat all the time. Those cigars were out of this world. I love New them. Orleans yeah. cigar. Yeah, cigar you guys shop. killed a whole bottle of monkey shoulder in less than 24 hours. We did. Yeah, a bunch of cigars. The, the pairing, I mean, and the, and the Ugadale with a good cigar. Wow. Yep. Yeah, yeah, blind whiskey. Um, it is. Uh, what is this? It's a Yeti. I don't know what model, but I know Scott um, at the Did test dummies. They've got, they've got the same one, but I think they're using a, a newer one they're, now. They're using a blue Yeti, maybe. Yeah, I think Scott didn't. I, the last video I watched, you guys, you were using a different Yeti. It's just black. It's the same thing. Oh, it was okay. Same yeah. thing. So this um, is. Does it sound okay? I hope. Kelpie, yeah, that's what you say. Since it sounds uh, great. big Kelpie committee release. Do we have a price on this? Currently, because I know it's hard to get now. Somebody, if you can find it, if you can find it now, you guys it's know. Scott, probably what, what's really going expensive for? now, because it is it is something you they typically release now. early summer, and then and so we we missed the boat on right. this. Right, we, we should have we should have reviewed this six months ago. Right, otherwise, whiskey well, now was leaving. Now we can't get it. He's it's South, South Africa. Africa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the couch is out. Hey, the couch. Hey, thanks, thanks for you. showing up. Thanks for stopping by. Be, he's, uh, he's been, he's been working out. around on, on everyone's channel. I've seen some comments, and, and he's been making comments, and I, it's uh, it's good to see him. Yeah, no, no food pairings yet. The nah. problem is, I, I've got to have set up time to do the food pairings. <laughs> Bob says his wife would kill him if his whiskey fetish yeah. expands to cigars. <laughs> My wife's not a big fan of me smoking cigars. Either. I don't really smoke them that much, but every once in a while I do. Usually when these guys get a bonfire going on, I, I'm like, hey, what, Once you go I scotch, you never cigar. go back. What? I love a good cigar. Yeah. 
Let's put one in the air every now and again. Yeah. Mark says Leanne's at a concert tonight. Man, she goes to a lot of concerts. That that woman likes her music. Let me guess, it's the Am Send Am bail money. Emmerich Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Mark's been working hard on the deck out there at the fishing oh, yeah, camp. It's coming good, along, Mark. brother. It looks good. good, man. We're watching your your progress, buddy. So I think that the Kelpie release or the uh, committee release is like uh, least at two hundred bucks. Um, Kelpie one ten yeah, range for normal. Yeah, so enough. here's the question: I Where can you get, get that. that committee release? Yeah. Who's got it out there? Because yeah. I know you're not going to find it around in our neck of the woods. Uh, let's see. You probably go we online. We might have to do some searching it. for this one and do a proper review. And it's going to be above, but that's going to be secondary market prices. This probably. is a unless you find a it on the shelf. Scotch. I mean, yeah, that's good stuff. Deep rich. So our big always has a great committee release. Yeah. I mean, last year we did. It's a great was story. Was last year it was. I don't know. I can't remember. We we got a we got a I got a bottle of it because I was at a, a whiskey or whiskey shop and they had the committee release and the regular for the same price. God, awesome. We even did. We did review. Yeah, I remember doing that, and it was great. Good suggestion, Malton. Yep. Hey, whiskey wings. Malton man caves by. giving your dad suggestions. All oh, right, good, good. Go, Malton. Pete <laughs> Monster right. is delicious. We love Pete. It Monster. is. I got a bottle at home. I need to get. Oh, you do? Yeah. Elijah Craig. We need Bird. to go to his house. The Duro mm. cigar and Elijah Craig. There Dark Cove. I like where you're going with that. <laughs> Yeah, Dark yeah. Cove, like that's Elijah it. Craig. Thank you, Telex. Is Dark Cove. Dark Cove Committee release. Liquor store. I was able to get a bottle of that, and it was really good. Barrel picking. With Elijah Craig. I think you and Telex yeah. are like, and they sold out like that, and I tried to buy what? a bottle. I, Telex I, there. That. I tried to buy so a bottle, Telex, but it told me it wouldn't uh, deliver Bart to my from store. Scotch Just Dummies drops of water are kin kindred spirits. So I sent him a message. I saw that, too. We'll see what happens. And they were like, oh, There's we'll like look into that. There's bread in there now. I mean, it's just, it's just got everything you need. You What? Scott says the like Dark Cove from last year is better. Scott likes Dark Cove, last year's Dark Cove better than this Kelpie. Uh, you know, because it's sherry finished. Oh, and Scott's a sherry head, though. So yeah. I'm, I, I'm, 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 sherry yeah, I'm a sherry this head. Is, too. This was good. This is almost like a I dark chocolate. It. I mean, it's kind of a kind of a. That's a good. I gotta be honest. That the water. Yeah. Water opened it up for me. Yeah. I think I put a drop too much on. Did you I just did. Pour I, in? <laughs> I went really what? light on the water. Just a couple of ah. <laughs> he got the Zima open. Oh, okay. Scotch and Zima. No. I was gonna try to keep the wheels that on, but Mike just be... opened the Zima. No, it's right. Like, do we have like? It's right here. Do we have Cuddy Sark or something to pour I'm on that? I'm waiting for you to uh, shotgun no. that tall boy. Of heart, <laughs> Get it, man. You know you can That's do it. I got a pocket knife. Hard on lemonade. <laughs> That's eight percent ABV. <laughs> That's a lot of liquor in there. Five. You're going to make a mess no, on the Zima. carpet. I was, oh, so George oh. got the Kelpie uh, committee release at Vine Table. Oh, there you go. Nice work. Yeah. Dude. You still have it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding, man. I'll have to call Dennis up You wanted to send on. another sample. Um, oh, Dennis hooked him up, yeah. yeah. Alan Ward. JC season. Get that cheese. Everything is Zima right juice. in the world with Elijah Craig. <laughs> That's some good, good stuff. Yeah, it is. What's up, Alan? Good to so see you, buddy. So before, before we do get the we're, wheels we're off and, and, off, and we get diving in, there's quickly. a couple of things that I wanted to announce. Um, this oh, week, yeah. made a couple of phone calls, and we've got a couple of guests uh, lined up that I want you guys all to know about because um, we want to ask for questions before we have the guests on. Because the last couple of times we've had a guest on, you know, the comments come through, and a lot of you guys ask questions that we don't get answered because we've got 30 minutes and they're flying through. So... Um, First coming up, we don't have exact dates, and we're going to have both of them on multiple times within the next month, I'll say. But we've got um, the ambassador for Dalmore and Jura coming on, um, which we're excited about because Super Jura excited. had a really big announcement today. I didn't see it. I went out and looked at it and looked for it. I didn't find it, but he said on February 1st was the official announcement day. <laughs> Jura's got two new bottles coming out that they're going to be releasing um, here, at least in North America. And... Uh, one is a Jura, I want to say 17, it might be 18. Um, so it's, a, it's, a, it's an age statement, Jura, that's coming out. And then the other one is a non-age statement that I was really curious and excited about. It's, called, uh, it's going to be called Jura 7 Wood. Um, and it's going to be what? really interesting. Uh, a little bit different. Uh, they're trying something different. They're going to be putting uh, their new make through seven different casks of new oak. So it's it's not they're they're not going to be putting like like the Dalmore Jeez, King. that's going to be like bourbon. Yeah, the Dalmore you know goes through six yeah. different finished casks for a different right. finishing. Yeah. This is putting it through seven different new oak casks. So it'll go American new oak, Japanese, oh, you know, wow. Europe, and, and they're going to be putting them through seven different um, 
variations of new oak casks before they bottle it. So yeah. real excited to see what that is. Um, they're really different. trying to profile the oak flavoring. Yeah. Um, so huh. anyway, we've got that guy coming up. We'll have him on the show twice, once for Dalmore, once for Jura. Um, so if you guys have questions uh, or are interested in either of those distilleries, Email us those questions, you know, yep. throw them out there or put them in the comments of this video once it goes live so we can get them all saved up and get them over to them and make sure we address what you guys are thinking, what you want to know. Um, we we want to catch that. Yeah, that's at scotch4dummies at gmail.com. Right. And oh. then the other uh, um, guest that we've got coming on is uh, she is the ambassador for the McKellen and Highland Park. And super excited about having her on the show. That's awesome. We're going to have two different shows, uh, one for just McKellen, one for Highland Park, and um, we've got some exciting ideas. We're, we're spitballing with her. I think she's got some good ideas that I think it's going to be fun. So stay tuned for that, and if you got questions for her on McKellen or Highland Park, throw them at us uh, now so that we can get them over to her and make sure that we address them during the show. Um, so I want to make sure you guys knew about that. I'll let you guys know what the final dates are. Um, and I'm we'll be super excited. Yeah, you can surprise us, man. I'm it's cool. Are we going to do, do Patreon <laughs> exclusive on some of those too? We're going to have some some stuff going on with patrons first, and then we're going to have them afterwards. Yeah. So, so if you choose to be become a Patreon member, you will get an exclusive block with these um, brand ambassadors. So we're we're discussing are we going to do full full review with just pa Patreon or open it up for Patreons for the first half hour. And then after that, yeah, I think I think probably towards the it. latter because yeah. we want to have a little bit of extra insight for our patrons. It's kind of a normal thing to do, but right. the big thing is we want to make sure that you guys are all involved in this because this is a pretty big thing for us. This, these guys are questions that you guys can yeah. offer. We won't be able to think of all these guys. So nope. I mean, I'm really looking forward to having a show with everyone. Uh, live streaming it with you guys and having some good questions and yeah. covering f really four big labels. I mean, yeah. we're talking Huge. about Dalmore, Highland Park, the McKellen. I mean, come on. I'm man. excited for the Dalmore. I mean, right. obviously we're fans of it, but we with all the different <clears throat> opinions out there, Dalmore. I'm excited to see just, just the banter. I mean, just yeah. to hear what people say about yeah. it. And, you know, and, and and the guy we got coming on is great. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I really am the Scotch or I'm trying. That's the truth, man. <laughs> um, Ask hey, him what he had to do to get those people on our show. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I'm trying to keep the show clean, at least till the wheels come off. Hey, easy. Um, Malta Man Cave, I, if you're asking me if I like the Highland Park 18, I think every one of us like the Highland Park 18. That bottle went down in one night. Yeah. It, it went down in four hours. I didn't like that. That was fun. That was fun. <laughs> yeah. He didn't like it. Yeah, yeah, I, I guess yeah you should check out the review it. of that one. I think, did, is the video have the dancing, or is that the Facebook thing we did? I think it was Facebook. Facebook. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That really came off the rails. Yeah. Wheels were like freaking. Oh my god! On some other cars down the street. <laughs> so they should talk about the Henry McKenna. You know about the Henry McKenna? What's Henry McKenna? Bourbon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I that don't that know it's a hidden that. gem. Have you ever had it? No. Uh huh. I've 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 gone through four. I I'll tell you what. I bought a whole case of it okay. just for me. <laughs> You know how many what? bottles are left? No. <laughs> how many bottles go? They're gone. There's a little short, were, stocky, yeah. green, green label. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a hidden gem, and they are a very good value. And I'm not going to tell anybody else. How about that? But they are good. If you like bourbon, okay. I have it. That's a good one. I um. Before I finish this glass, I'm getting I'm, raisins and deep cherry. It's out of this it's thing. almost gone. I think Sean's gone. Tell Alex out before I finish mine. I want to say thank you. Yes. Yeah, it was awesome. This is definitely an interesting. Dilly dilly. I gotta dilly, say, dilly. this is this is the 3.5 to 4 range because yep, it's as, it, as it sits there, <laughs> it it's now getting sweeter. Like I said, you're getting cherries, you're getting raisins, Man, and that serious the deep right fruit yeah. in there now. Yeah, it, the, it had a the nice smoke change. does the smoke does kind of dissipate. <laughs> sure, and, and that's that's. Hey, Andy, I have one question for you. What's in your pocket? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Oh, you, oh, you, you just I was going to let him go with it, man. All right. What this? I, I was like a Walmart security guard. I know you got stuff in your pocket. <laughs> I just don't just care. Keep, keep on walking and serving. <laughs> Scott, I don't know what you you're talking the, about. <laughs> Scott, do you mean the Henry McKenna is a 10 year bottled and bond? Did that? No, did you stuff. Yeah. 10 year bottled and bond? Yep. It's delicious. Yeah, it was good. Uh, We're not supposed to talk about it, though. Apparently, that's on the down low for people who know. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I know everybody's I've, like, shut your mouth. <laughs> I've seen that picture a few times of the bottle. I'm just talking about so it. I, I found it, believe it or not, the reason I found it was it was at my, the owner of my restaurant, his his house. I went for dinner, 
and he had a bottle, and he had no idea what it was. Oh. And so myself and uh, the the chef <laughs> drank like half his bottle that night. Went back to the restaurant the next day, and each Ordered. bought a case. <laughs> and is it, was, it not available now? Is that what you're? No, you can ordering? get it, but it, it's kind of one of those, you know, don't tell everybody or it's going to go up. Mm. You know what I mean? It'll be like Probably the Elijah copy. Craig, and it'll go right. Away. Keep your mouth shut. Uh, yeah. So don't tell everybody it's it's a thing. The Weller Twelve. It's not a thing. It's, it's not, not a thing. It's awful. It's, it's awful. horrible. Terrible. Nobody likes that stuff. We'll dispose of it. Just send it over here. <laughs> it's cool. Toxic. We will take care of that. Disposing of it. Correctly. So if I'm going to score this, though. I'm going to I'm going to say I'm probably close to a three five. Maybe a three. I'm between three and three five. That's probably where I'm probably at. closer to a three five. Yeah. Um, What's wrong I, with it? Absolutely. Well, I love the nose. I, I can't get past the nose. I love it. Oh, you don't like the salt. I, but it. I mean, I don't. I'm not saying I dislike the salt, but it's just like overpowering. It's really a strong salt. I think you flavor. just nailed my. I, I was going to do the same thing. I'm going to go three five if I had to. Gotcha. I, I think that I would go yeah. four if it. It's what? just so strong on the peat and, and the smoke that it's like. It's almost too much for me. Well, I, I, I enjoy the peaty, smoky stuff now, but this is almost like so there. It's like, good Lord. I, I almost want a little bit more sweet to kind of relax it a little bit. So I'm going to go three, five if I had to throw a number out there on this one. I mean, it's I, freaking I, awesome. Oh, I love it. I, I, I don't know if I couldn't. Scotch. I don't know if I can't give it a four because, you know, admittedly, I cannot drink more than one glass of this in one night. It is. No, it's extremely rich. It is, it's and that's rich. What, I, I like that. Powerful. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Holy I mean, shit. I know you enjoy a glass that lasts a couple hours. You're, you're all. I mean, that's the. There's, that's the good. There's some glasses that you that you want three or four of them, but there are some you just want to pour in, and, and it's a relationship. <laughs> it's a relationship. <laughs> it is. Right? You, you, this is a glass you can pour. That smells and you, amazing. You could drink it for an hour. That? Exactly. Easily. Oh, yeah. it and, so and not be disappointed and completely neat. You know, an dude. ounce and a half What's of liquid up? will last you an hour and a half. Yeah. No yeah. problem. We've we got two bottles. Mm, I, don't, I don't want yeah. one. Good what is that? Stuff. What? It's not for you. Really this poor one, we'll share it. It's old for us. So, um, <laughs> it's old for us. You don't Jay, want it. You don't Jake want wants that. to know who keeps all the bottles that have been reviewed. Someone has to have a sweet bar set. No, they're gone. Jake, we. Liquor doesn't last that long around here. I will say, I, I've kept a lot of bottle boxes. The, the yeah, bottle empties, boxes. but I don't empties. think that's what he's talking about. No. We, uh, so, there are no partial bottles just hanging out. So, so Jake, <laughs> I think it's dusty. So, Jake, re you realize there are five of us here. We will do a review yeah, a week, gonna, and we will do a, a one-hour yeah, live week. So, right. And that tends to go through. Oh, my God. What the hell is that? Right, you got to save me some of that. What is it? So uh, I want to oh, throw yeah. this out there, guys, because you, you hit on a key no. spot for us. And um, we are, I mean, we mentioned patrons. Oh, that's good. Um, it's, we, we know, are, we, you know, so with everything else we've sweet. got going on, hold on, guys. We're, we're, everything else we got going on, you know, we, we try our best to throw love everywhere, right? As far as oh, yeah. support and everything else, because everything we do is, basically for our love and hobby and for you guys and to, to get you guys involved and our patreon page out there has been out there for smile. gosh less, uh, less than a year six nine, eight months, nine months yeah, something like that right about that. and we set up originally mm -hmm. with some ideas and i think the original reward system we have out right. there was solid um but you know i'll be honest we have not done our best judgment on, on, on doing some of these things yep. That being said, we've, we threw, we've thrown some new ideas. We want to revamp our rewards thing. And so we've thought about some things like bottles, empty bottles and things like that we could do and yep. sign or our bottle hanger. So anyway, my point is, Dude. if you've got some good ideas, we would love to hear them because, you know, anything we can do to make you guys sure, happy. Um, oh, yeah. Like this is one of our things we've done. Flip it, o flip it over. Cause you put it at the camera. So, so, yeah. Each of these bottle hangers is engraved with a logo. And then on the back, all of us have signed them. So we've got a good uh, and, commemorative. Of, and what are these? Not yet. So where did they come from? These are made of barrel stays. Right. So, All Sean, right, so here, here's, a, here's a backstory on the barrels. Uh, <laughs> there, there's a deeper backstory, but you'll have to be a patron to get right. that one. <laughs> uh, but anyway, suffice it to say, I had some, some whiskey barrels around the house because uh, we live close enough to the bourbon trail that I can get my hands on a few. Uh, so I wanted to make some stuff out of bourbon barrels and so I bought a few and got a cold chisel and a sledgehammer and knocked them apart and 
made the stools that these two guys are sitting on right now. Pretty and cool I've got stools. a couple more upstairs. Uh, <laughs> but we had a, a stack of barrel staves left over. And I've got some other projects that I'd like to do some stuff with. Uh, but there's no way I'm going to use up one of these barrel staves. So we decided to cut them because they're, they're actual whiskey barrel staves. They came from Buffalo Trace. and uh, Makers, right? Yeah, I've got a Maker's Barrel and Jim Beam. Jim Beam. Yeah. Um, so we cut the staves down and made bottle hangers right, out of so them. They're actually pretty we, cool looking. You basically cut these out of the each. Mm -hmm. That's out yep. of one stave, right? So I said I'll get it really engraved. So and you then can see the, the charring that's still in it. I know one thing. When, <laughs> when he busted those cherries, barrels yeah. open, his his garage smelled like a distillery for like yeah, three months. So, so I get the set to cut those, and as I'm cutting those, I'm smelling that bourbon coming out of right. the barrel. And it, it had been sitting in my garage for yeah. a long time. So right. and on some some of these, especially on the end, That's you can good. still see how far the the bourbon penetrated into the wood, which is pretty cool that you can. Yeah, yeah so you can see how far that the, the liquid penetrated into the wood if you can tell the color difference there. Really and I cool. had to, I took a bunch of the charring off. I mean, it's, it's it's really thick when you first bust open one of those barrels. That's true. It's way more charring than I had any yeah. idea. I was like, Jesus. Christ. I mean, it it really looks like you know if you've ever had a log like burn halfway in your fireplace and it's like really yeah. like it, it's like that. Right. I mean, it's halfway burnt. Uh, but it, it was a pretty cool project. I had fun with it. I can tell you right now that uh, the oak that they make those barrels out of is no joke. No, like, it's not. It is really hard to work with. It is dense stuff. <laughs> I don't know how many drill bits and saw blades I went through trying to build the stuff that I was making. But it was a good time. It was a good project. Man. That bourbon is delicious. It's wow. amazing. I like the nose wow. on it. It doesn't yeah, smell like any bourbon I've ever smelled. It's got an interesting nose. Yeah, anonymous. Yeah, we're gonna let that go for a, a while. Anonymous donor, but, but, but uh, what is we it? are. They're doing the, They're doing their own thing about it. Soon. We're uh, yeah. Oh. But, it's, but that's amazing. It's really. So we've been able to get a good bourbon here, and I'm generally not a bourbon. To me, a bourbon is a. I think even a Mark would to, like this one to some extent, but this is. That's like. Opposite. This has got much more richness in it. It's not so sweet. It's not overly I, sweet. I guarantee you, I didn't tell Scott about this one because he'd love this one. So, Tom, if you are on your way to the bourbon trail and you pass through Indianapolis without letting us know, mm. shame on you. All right? <laughs> so, I mean, I think honestly, give us the heads up. And, Tom, we'll, I will we'll be in Chicago. Out. Isn't that delicious? Caramel. Um... Wednesday through, I actually remember saying the weekend. I think the wife's coming up the weekend. So, the last now. week yeah. of this month. Not after that. Not after so, that. I'll be up there. We'll have to do a Benny's trip. I'll hook up with you. Oh, wow. Hey. Right. I'm going to rinse this glass out. I just want some water to rinse Ooh. the uh, peat off my, and I'll take a sip of one of your guys. It's just a. Man, that is. Dilly, good. dilly. Dilly, dilly, dilly. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not doing Bud Light. Bud Light. We're doing Zima instead. Ooh. Pour, pour, pour me some of that Zima. Mike's harder. I think the dog's about ready for a snack. Give me a sip of that. Let me, let me just. I got a little bit of uh, that's good. Kelpie, my Zima. I tell you Kelpie what, I really Zima. like the nose on that's it. That's deeply hey, disturbing. Hey, so that, that brings up a point. Wait, did I, you just I, say you like the nose? It doesn't smell like typical. <laughs> no, that is really bad. Good. It doesn't smell like. I, oh, I smell like beach coconut. Oh, right, it's, it's, got, it's got a, a unique smell to it. Hey! Thanks, Scott. Hey, thanks, Scott. Scott. Thank you, man. You're the man. Everything about this is amazing. So this is not. Everything about this is not good. <laughs> <laughs> I smell uh, carbon dioxide. <laughs> it's weird. So when I pick up a glass like this, and, and it, you're talking about Zima now. And instinctively, you're talking about bourbon. Now you're yeah. Zima. So we put Zima in a glass, and instinctively I put it up to my nose, and I'm like, man, I smell wet carbon dioxide. It's light. Um, Dude, you don't. You don't. You don't. Lighter, that's not even disgusting. Zima. <laughs> No, it's, heavier than that. it's just like water. With no, but, but what we did, I'm, so he brought I'm up, up I got Zima in my Kelpie. I tried to rinse and that. And I've, I've got a script written. We're finalizing the design we on it yep. about what? adding things to Scotch. And, and Scotch Test Dummies have a great video out right now where Scott is making a, um, a oh, yeah. vodka martini, martini with some peated Scotch in it. Yeah. Just to add just a little bit of twist to it. Yeah. Great, yeah, we great can totally idea. Do that. We've got some additional we ideas on and what Sunday we've done, what, what I'm writing up. <laughs> Can't wait to publish it. <laughs> we we got to, we got to film it. And we'll publish it next next few weeks. It's great. Well, we've got actually quite a few interesting videos coming out. That. We've got, um, we're <laughs> trying to get more creative. We've got all kinds of different ones. We've got some bourbon stuff coming out. We've got some world whiskey stuff coming out. Some rums. We've got some things you're talking about. Some story. 
stuff. We've got a blind Monday review North coming Canada. up that's pretty awesome. You were showing us the raw video of that. That's oh yeah, it's been working on for a while, but it's gonna be good. Fun. Um, I've got the I've got the script written for my online purchasing video that awesome. everybody's wanting to talk yep. about. Um, my We've got lots of stuff that. coming out, so stay tuned. It's just a matter of time and editing and going through whiskey. Drew, had Drew, a to we do have day yet? jobs. <laughs> we have day what? Have you had a chance to touch ours yet? No. Which one? Okay. Oh, hit up Telex for his after show. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, what, what, five what is Telex, Telex doing? Um, I don't know. What's your link, Telex? What are you, what are you doing? Put your link out, Baba. Look at the Glen oh, Keith Twenty One and the Tomore Twenty. Oh, wow. Where the hell does he get those? Blind Whiskey Review says He's next amazing. time bring four Brett. local to drink for donations. <laughs> no, I'm not drinking uh, four. <laughs> we got. To, do we have some? Um, so yes, wine light. Um, actually, I brought a bottle of Michter's to here last mm -hmm. week. Last you week, guys, yeah, you guys, it was very, guys, very good. Yeah. Did, did you take it home? No, I didn't take it home. Why would I, I take it home? Should be back here. I didn't uh, take it home. Where is it? I'm not carrying that bottle back home because I'm not drinking it. Is it so, down? So is Jake, it straight down here? Straight below you. Jake, oh, yeah, yeah, Jake, we do stay have to tuned afterwards, guys. In about five yeah. minutes, tell us is going live with his after show. So he's going to be talking about. Um, Glen Keith 21 uh, and Tomamore 21, a bunch of other space sides. So stay tuned. So, Jake, Definitely worth watching. Each of there us go, go to bottles that we will always have behind our bars. That's a, a, a lot longer than a three minute question. Um, the Freud Quarter Cast? Uh, exactly. Black, that, uh, there's the several different bottles that are go to that we're all going to have on our bars, be, depending on what mood we're in, whether it's a peat or whether it's a Highland or a Spay. Or My bar just has a, a bunch scotch. of scotch. Yeah, I, well, Bourbon, I mean, so Sean's bar is no, with, with no. everything that we review, but we all have scotch at home, too, so, I mean, um, I think I'll always have a Log of One 16. I mean, I'll, yeah. I just will. I'll have one. I mean, I've got Log of uh, 16, and I've got Paul Pulteney, um 12, Twelve, and yeah, I've got good. the Kubokin. Yeah, Those can't are my three right now that I'm drinking. Just Anything that I would keep over here as a staple gets drank. Faster, Sorry, right? Right. <laughs> I can't help it. Like that's just the way it is. So Mac Twelve, uh, we got the Mac Twelve. Uh, but we always have sure. some stuff on my bar. Sure. If if it was just my bar, I would probably say you know Monkey Shoulder just for everyday drinking scotch. Don't feel guilty about drinking. I like the Dalmore Twelve. It, it's a good. Yep. It's a good whiskey for the price. The quarter cask is always a good one. That's a great one. You uh, know what we haven't had in ages, which used to be just a good one that I referred to everyone, was the Balvenie 12. Yeah. Hey, wine line. I had that at work the other day. It was. Um, it Sean was even has mine, time. one of mine, Eagle Rare. Yeah, yeah that's, that's always a, a good that's one. A, bourbon. That's a staple. That's a go-to bottle. Yeah. Yeah. Go Elijah Craig is always, always a good one. I'll always keep that. Right. Um, it's a fair question, though. I mean, because honestly, you, you want to, you've got to have a go-to bottle, right? Yeah. Everybody's got their high shelf that they look, and every great moon, blue moon they have a small dram of. But what's the bottle you don't feel guilty cracking open right now? I don't feel guilty about any of them. And I just got you. Well, that. see, that, that's that's the problem. I'm too cheap to keep a top shelf bottle on my, sh on my it's true, shelf. That's true. Because then I then I will drink it, and I'm like. I, I'm kind of along the lines Gosh, of whatever dang, I'm in the mood Scott's for. trying to be I mean, a hard yeah. ass. He's like one bottle each. Sorry, man. That's All tough. Right. All right. If one I, bottle. As our go-to, just bring. Go-to. Yeah, well, so this is, yeah, this isn't something that, this isn't your one bottle that, you know, your $300 bottle. Glendronic sure. 12. That's a great bottle. That's a good choice. Oh, dude, that's tough. Great choice. It's a great choice, but I think I'm gonna have right now at this point in time. I gotta go on something on that little island. I, it's gonna be over there. It's not gonna be. I'm actually going the opposite way. I'm going back to the sweeter side. You're sweet. What's I'm, that? I'm getting back to sweet again. You get I'm going Kubokin. That's what. That's, that's got a little smoke in people. Eh, a little barely, bit. Barely. I, barely. I want a bottle of that on my bar. I like. Yeah, I'd like another one. Eric says my go-to's whatever was with within arm's reach. <laughs> That's a great Heck one. Yeah. Uh, boys, we got about a minute and a half yeah. left. We want a final closing call. You know what? Uh, best comment of the entire week that we got. I don't know if you guys read it or not, but was the guy that his uh, his girlfriend. Uh, oh, her ex-boyfriend. Yes. Owed her like ten thousand dollars, and so he took all of this dude's scotch. 
Did you hear the scotch he got, you got? He got a ton of high-end scotch from this guy. What? Signet, blue, <laughs> um, what else did he get? I don't know. He, oh, he took a great ton scotch. of stuff. Highland 21. Is it just like a, Yeah, it's yeah, I gotta go like, read uh, this. I replied man's to him. Like, is dude, another man's game. Like, scotch. good on you, dude. You got the girl and that dude scotch. <laughs> <laughs> That's a movie. <laughs> it totally is, man. Uh, <laughs> all right, listen. Hey, Go ahead, tell us. He's going to be on in about right 30 now. seconds <laughs> or so. Yep. Thanks for selling it, Kelpie, dude. That, that, yeah, that was Thanks awesome. Thanks, Thanks for moderating. Thanks, well. Thanks for watching, guys. Had a great night. We'll see I'm you empty. guys on Monday I'm number two, too. and then next Thursday. We'll have a good one. We'll have. We'll have. Cheers, Cheers, everybody. Cheers. We'll see you guys. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. Let me see what's up with this Zima.